and I'm going to show you the second 10-wheel dump truck that Johnny Prevet Paving and Son has, and they're headed back to their house, which is down there, right about there, on the left-hand side of the road. But the county code enforcement does nothing. There's the second truck. As you can see, it says P2. I believe that means uh, prick 2. Not sure, but it could be. Personally, that's what I would say. And uh, if y'all don't like it, well, that's just too damn bad because this is a brand new dump truck that they bought to replace the one that they had. So that means that they have two dump trucks, a low boy, and about 13 freaking commercial heavy equipment sitting on their stinking property that's supposed to be for cows, horses, or farm animals, or crops. Agricultural two property is exactly what that means. Animals or crops. Not freaking commercial business, people. Jesus Christ. That Jessica Letterman that belongs to the county code enforcement do your freaking job, lady, or resign. You're a crook, a criminal, and you need to be investigated for letting these people run this business, commercial business, out of our dead-end residential neighborhood road, endangering our lives and our children. Oh, not only our children, but... Our horses and our cows and our dogs and your cats. I've thrown so many dogs and cats in the ditch in the last 15 years, you wouldn't believe how many cats and dogs I took off the road and threw in the ditch to get them off the road so they just didn't become blood stained in the damn road. Why don't somebody ask me how many cats and dogs I throwed off the side of the road because these people run over them? No, you don't care unless it's the media. Oh, guys, can, guy is uh, abusing their horses. They're not feeding them. I'm sorry. You can't feed something or another you can't afford. You can't feed dogs that you can't afford, but you still try to keep them off the road so they don't get killed. Really? That's your media for you. They don't tell you that in the news. No, they tell you that these people are abusing the animals. But they tell you that they don't tell you that they can't feed them because they don't have the money to do so. Same way with the county code enforcement agency. They get their paycheck whether they freaking do their job or freaking not. 